Today, we are gonna be tackling what every new offset owner gets extremely frustrated about. All right, guys, there is nothing more frustrating than buying a brand new grill that you are all hyped up about to get home, get it together, which is a Herculean effort. Actually, it wasn't too bad but to get it together and then put your first cook on there. And hours and hours and hours go by. And guess what? The food still isn't ready. It's painful. Today I'm gonna go over a couple quick tips and illustrate to you with thermometers why this is happening to you, all right? And it's because of this thermometer here is way up here and not at the grill level. And it is probably throwing you off because this says 300, 250, 225, whatever desired temperature you want, but that's not the level you're getting on your food. Now, no matter what offset smoker you just got, feel free to join our Facebook group. I don't care if you got Oklahoma Joe or some other offset smoker, join the Kingsford 49, Kingsford, Join in on our Kingsford Stockade 49 Smoker and Grill Facebook group. They are helpful tips all day long in this group and a lot of expert cooks that are just knocking it out the park with offset smokers. And there's a lot of useful information. So I don't care if you got this one, come join in the conversation because it is going to make you a better offset smoker. As you can see with this model, the thermometer is roughly 10 to 11 inches taller than where the actual grates are, which means the thermometer is gonna be running hot. As a beginner smoker, when I first got my first offset, I thought whatever this thermometer said encapsulated the temperature for the entire main cooking chamber here. It does not, all right? The temperature here is different from what it is here what it is back here, what it is here. So it's important to get the right equipment as soon as possible. I weighed it because I didn't want to spend the extra money when I had a new smoker. Years later, I got these and I wish, wish I had these years ago. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna run a few tests and we're gonna see what the temperature is here, what the temperature is here, back here, and then we're also gonna put them up here. And we're gonna run these tests so people that are new to smoking, new to using an offset, I don't care what model you have. You got Oklahoma Joe, feel free to check this out. It doesn't matter because the concept is the same. All right, and we're gonna put one back here. I'm gonna get some charcoal started. We're gonna get that firebox going and we'll test this out. open up this chamber before I put my charcoal in. I know some people, yeah, it's a little dirty, so I don't mind burning this out and cleaning it up. But what some people do is they'll leave their main chamber open as they are getting their firebox going. Now that's my butcher paper from my last brisket video. As you can see, it's still got the oil in there. That will help fuel. Uh, if I didn't light it the way I did, I could have easily just lit this and it would have eventually gotten the charcoals going, but it's late at night and I want to get the charcoal going as quickly as possible. So that's why I didn't actually use this. I'm gonna burn this up anyway. I got my door out here completely wide open. All right, let's put that charcoal in. Since we're doing a short experiment, 
I just want to quickly keep this fire together because I don't want to burn a lot of, of my own fuel just for this experiment. Uh, but if I have to, I have to. You can see that butcher paper really got it going, really got it hot. Let's close this down, get this chamber heated up. All right, I'm gonna give you a couple different angles of the temperature readings, a full screen and all that good stuff. But this number one here is all the way in the back, furthest from the firebox, and this one is closest to the firebox. So we're gonna let this run for five minutes, see how we do. All right, as you can see, the thermometer on the grill is hitting 200 degrees, just about. So closest is 25 degrees less, just roughly. And the one further away from the firebox is a full 50 degrees less. All right, so if you load this up with chicken across the board, this grill, and you think you're cooking at 200, you are nowhere near that temperature in certain spots of your grill. All right, that is right at 250 on the top thermometer. And then when we look at our thermometers here, the one in the far back, furthest away from the firebox, 195. And then we have 225 closest to the firebox. So you see that? So if you load up your food, all right, this is gonna be 10, 15 to 25 degrees off up front from what it says up top. And then back here, it's going to be anywhere from 25 to 50 degrees different. So the frustration I hear is, I, you can see the pictures on Facebook, is they have chicken all across here, ribs here, ribs here and here. And these ribs aren't being finished. This chicken is not being cooked through. Well, that answers it. If you have chicken on for at 190 degrees, you're going to get frustrated because it's going to be on forever. And just for reference, I did add two pieces of oak wood just to really get that fire going, uh, just to keep that temperature up. So I didn't, I added more than that little bit of charcoal that you originally saw. All right, the temperature really caught and it's rising quickly. So we're roughly at 310 degrees. So let's see where we are at the grill level. All right, so 310 at the top where the standard thermometer comes with it. But at the grill level, we're at 274 by the firebox and 232 all the way in the back. That's a huge temperature difference. Now, the other thing you want to know is this is a rising temperature. So this is catching up. Once we level this temperature off and we let the smoker stay steady at a certain level, these numbers can get a lot closer to each other. All right? They'll never get equal but they will start to contract and get closer. So the 280 closest to the firebox will start to be closer to 300, et cetera, et cetera. That's holding temp. Right now we're rising temp. So that's why there's such a big difference. But when we level this off and we let the smoke roll at a constant temperature, you'll see that the temperature inside the whole chamber will get closer and closer together. All right, let's take these thermometers back. Oop, doesn't want to come out. What are we getting at the top here? I've never done this, so this will be new for me too. But the top, back, and front. Let's see what we get. All right, everybody, we are at 310 degrees on this top thermometer and would you look at that we're on the top racks and on the far right top rack we're at 329 330 and on the back left it is basically identical to what the thermometer says all the way at the top 310 here 310 here well 309 but you get the idea all right there is nothing better than that smoke rolling Hopefully that helps shed a lot of light on why your cook might have made you very frustrated the first time you broke out your new toy. All right, this is important to understand because 
you don't want to be sitting out there for six, seven, eight hours. Why are my ribs not finished? It's very frustrating. I get it. I understand. My first ribs probably took me nine to 10 hours. A rack of ribs. It shouldn't take that long. So stick with us, join our Facebook group, like I said, to get more information. I'll put the description in the link below. If you have friends that just got any type of offset smoker, tell them to watch this video and join the Facebook group. It's gonna make them a better smoker and they're gonna be happier. Hopefully you found this video very useful. So make sure to share it with some friends that are also getting into offset smoking. Subscribe to this channel. Give me a huge thumbs up and turn on those notifications so you get all the latest on when it comes to smoking on an offset smoker. Thank you. Chugga, 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 choo-choo.